So that's the subject followed by the verb to be followed by the gerund. En este video te voy a enseñar cuatro cosas que enfadan muchísimo a tu profe de inglés y que no debes hacer en clase jamás. Is somebody talking in this class? Isabel, please. La primera cosa que enfada a tu profe de inglés es que le llames profesor. Do not say teacher. Hey, teacher. How many times, Isabel? En español es perfectamente aceptable llamar a nuestros maestros profesor o incluso profe de modo afectuoso, pero en inglés llamar teacher a tu profesor de inglés es despectivo. Don't do it. No, it's not polite, ¿ok? Para que te hagas una idea, es algo así como decir camarero, waiter, waiter, azafata, uh, air hostess, steward, uh, peluquero. Hairdresser. <risa> vale, si por ejemplo tú estás en una academia de idiomas, ¿no? En una clase así informal, clases extraescolares, por ejemplo. Ya. Yeah. Lo normal es llamar a tu profe por su nombre de pila. Yes. You can call your English language teacher by their first name, usually. ¿Y cómo te diriges a tu profe en el colegio? Ah, yes, this is a bit more formal. You have to call them by their surname. So my teacher was called Mr. Donnelly, my PE teacher was Mrs. Jenkins, and the geography teacher was Miss Jones because she wasn't married. Miss Jones. Mm, Miss Jones was single. Yes. Okay. ¿Y qué me dices de la universidad? Well, at my university, we were on first name terms with our teachers, so we, we would just call them by their first names. However, if they actually are a, a qualified professor, which is a very high position teacher, then you would address them as Professor and their surname. So Professor Dawkins, for example. Mm -hmm. I have a lecture with Professor Dawkins. So these are the correct ways to address your teacher, but don't call your teacher, teacher, okay? And if you're not sure, just ask your teacher. Just ask. Numero dos. The phrase, it would be the same thing. The, the subject, subject, yes. I saw that note, now bring that to me. Yes, that note. Bring it here, here. This English class is boring as hell. English is spelt always with a capital E. We've talked about it many times. No escribas jamás, jamás, English con minúsculas. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué no se puede escribir con minúsculas? Lo veo constantemente en los comentarios de Super Motivated Students aquí en YouTube y en nuestro blog. Si tú eres uno de ellos, ¿ok? Métetelo bien en la cabeza. So, what's the rule? En inglés siempre, siempre escribimos la primera letra en mayúscula para idiomas, nacionalidades, meses y días de la semana. Awesome. Hello, I'm Philip. I'm the English teacher and I'm British. Your final exam is in April, so not long to go, and next Wednesday we'll be holding a mock test at 6 p.m. So make sure you don't miss it. Now let's get down to business. I'm going to put some words on the board. La tercera cosa que hará enfadar a tu profe de inglés es que cuando no sepas el significado de algo le preguntes Mr. Ballet, what means whimsical? We don't say what means whimsical or what is the meaning of whimsical. No, 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 no. In English, let's learn this once and for all. We say, what does whimsical mean? So repeat with me. What does whimsical mean? What does whimsical mean? What does that sentence mean? What do these words mean? What does whimsical mean? What does whimsical mean? Oh, okay. Basically, it means strange in a way that might be funny or annoying 
or unorthodox. Cool, thanks! Thank you! La cuarta cosa que tu profesor de inglés no soporta es que respondas así. And the next one is about what does pick up on mean? I don't know. So this kind of answer makes you sound a bit negative and a bit rude, a bit lazy. When you answer your teacher like this, you're not showing much willingness to try or to find out the answer. So if you don't know something or you don't understand, it's much better to say something like, hmm, I'm not 100% sure. I don't think I've completely understood. I don't think I've heard it before. Or I'm struggling to remember. Ah, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember. Or it rings a bell. Ah, oh, it rings a bell. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Could you put it in a sentence for me? Of course. Let me help you out. For example, I misspelled Edinburgh in my English homework, but my teacher didn't pick up on it. Mm, so it's like to realize or to detect. Y el que más enfada de todos, no solamente a tu profesor de inglés, sino a cualquier persona, es responder what. Si aún no has visto el vídeo que tenemos dedicado, puedes verlo aquí arriba. Y de hecho, yo si fuera tú, no saldría de casa ni hablaría inglés con nadie hasta que no haya visto este vídeo. So before we go, I'd like to ask you, are there any really annoying things that your students do during the class? Oh, there's, uh, there are loads of things that my students do. I've had some very rude students in my class. Oh, have you? Yes. Um, yawning very loudly. Oh. oh, sorry. Students who text under the table while nodding their heads and pretending they're listening to the teacher like this. They're really good at it. <laughs> Your homework is to tell us in the comments below the answer to this question. Have you ever been told off in class? Mm. And what did your teacher tell you off for? Do you know this phrasal verb? To tell someone off means regañar. Super. Entonces, cuéntanos tus anécdotas y practica tu inglés junto a otros estudiantes en los comentarios. All right? Y si quieres seguir mejorando tu inglés, ven a amigosingleses.com donde tenemos un montón de posts interesantes con test, ejercicios interactivos y los mejores cursos de inglés de la galaxia. Trust me. Yes, you absolutely love learning English with us. English with a capital E. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you very soon. Bye. See ya.